everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Op Ed Average Podcast, where we have a lot of opinions, but most of them are pretty average. I'm Monica. And I'm Anna. <laughs> <laughs> Today on on this week's episode, we will be discussing um, our recent book club meeting, and we're also going to pick out a new book, and hopefully some of you guys can join along. Um, our one-year anniversary for the podcast, our podiversary, what? is also coming up, so we want to do a couple of fun things with that. So yeah, hope you stick around and listen. <laughs> we're also very good in this episode yes, yes. we, we have, have dared no, yes to do no outline no outline <laughs> we're just gonna chat and uh you know just hang out it's been a, yeah. it's been a minute since it's just been us two so right it'll be good yes. yeah yes 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 um so All right. let's talk about our book club yes for our book club our second book club was actually for iron flame Mm -hmm. um, by y Rebecca Yaros, and it's actually the second book in the series of Fourth Wing, um, which is what we did for our first book club. <laughs> so wait, first, <laughs> are we gonna are we gonna like spoiler oh, alert, or do yeah, we yeah, need yeah, to yeah, do yeah. that, or we should... we're not gonna like talk in depth about it? Are we? Or no, I don't think so. But just yeah, in case I we mean, accidentally yeah. say something, <laughs> say something then spoiler alert. <laughs> yes, spoiler. Case, if yes, you yes. haven't read this book yet if you plan to or the first book in the series um maybe save this episode so, for, until yeah, after that yeah. and then come back and yeah. we can uh yeah. discuss or skip ahead a little bit i guess yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. so do you want to give so mon what do you want to do you want to talk about the book or do we want to like do a little recap of where we're at in the series or what do we want to do let's talk about what iron flame is about just really quickly sure. um we'll just talk about how the actual book club went sure <laughs> i could give a little recap Synopsis. on yeah oh god i should have had something up <laughs> off the top of your oh, head okay off the top of my head okay <laughs> so i'll i'll also give a little bit of a a synopsis i guess on iron flame because they're you know it comes together this will be really i'm quick at recaps i think so the first book iron flame is about a girl named violet fourth wing fourth wing, fourth wing. okay For, first book is fourth wing is about a girl named violet sorengale who um is pretty much a part of like a pretty famous like military family i would say and this is fantasy you guys so there's like dragons and you know, it's not in our realm. It's not like on earth or anything like that, I guess you mm -hmm. could say, right? So she's joining, she's at the start of her military college and um, she basically, you know, joins um, because her mom wants her to. And just, you know, to kind of share, there's four like, well, how do you call it? Like sections of the military mm -hmm. that you can enter. Um, she is not really like built for, what she ends up doing um her mom basically pushes her into like you know the the section or you know they call them quadrants right or mm -hmm. yeah the quadrant that she is going to go for so she basically um goes into the writer's quadrant which are the ones that ride ride the dragons she had studied her whole life to be in the scribe quadrant which is basically like the librarians or the you know note takers or whatever so basically mm -hmm. in short she goes into this college you bond with dragons you fall in love she falls in love she makes a bunch of friends a bunch of people die and then that's the summary of the first book <laughs> We just people may <laughs> die. People may die. People may die. But you know, I mean, it's a it's a war college, so that's pretty much like a very basic summary of the first book. Mm -hmm. I personally, I'll have Mon, I'll have you do the summary, a little summary of the second book. But I personally loved Fourth Wing. I think it's one of my most favorite books that I've read in a long time. Mon, um, you know, recommended. To, and we said this before, but you recommended it to me um, when we got back from our trip, and I just like, you know, breezed through. That. It was so, 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 like, just so highly recommended. It's one of those books, and I always say this, but it's like you just jump right in. Like, it's not yeah. the kind of book that like you have to warm up to. Mm -hmm. So, um, I really, really enjoyed that read. So, the second part of the what they're calling this the Empyrean series. So, uh, apparently, there's five books. Only two are out. So, Fourth Wing is out. 
Iron Flame is out. And that was our book for this last book club. And I'll leave Mon to hopefully give us a little bit more of an eloquent uh, summary. Uh, <laughs> should have wrote an outline for this. Dang it. <laughs> See, I said that earlier. You said no. <laughs> I didn't realize. I didn't think ahead of, oh, we should describe what the book is about. <laughs> It's okay. Um, we can easily talk about our party, though. Yeah. So, uh, just really quickly again, um, hopefully minor spoilers, if not no spoilers. Um, Iron Flame, the second book in the series, um, we still are following Violet, and um, she's still in this war college. And I don't even know where to start because it's about war <laughs> so they make it she makes it past her first year right right uh, i mean this year. is all just like fo her following following her into her trials and tribulations to get through college mm -hmm. and graduation yeah um and it's about literally surviving school mm -hmm. um and there's like powers and what they call signets, signets and everything yeah very cool and um, you get to learn she, more about dragons and mm -hmm. their. She's got really cool rules. friends. Very cool friends. Yeah. And trust issues <laughs> <Yes>. with <laughs> her lover. <laughs> with her lover. There will be a lover, <laughs> but we won't say who. And this one, it focuses more on, I want to say, politics, kind of, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And, I would and say. I mean, it it's like their second year, so they're more advanced, and it's basically like they're training for war. They're being taught like tactics, right? Tactics mm -hmm. for war, and um, yeah, it's basically like you know, of course, um, their usually, enemies and yeah, enemies. getting to know their enemies mm -hmm. and working uh, with other people that they would not necessarily have like you know worked with and stuff. So it's just you know. Um, kind of like her going through her second year and lots of new revelations, lots of surprises, I think, mm -hmm. in the second book. Um, the author, Rebecca Yara, she kind of mentioned that the a reoccurring theme or the underlying theme for a lot of these books is, you know, what happens when your history books are being messed with? Like, like what do you know is like the actual truth of yeah. your life your society and all of that stuff what is actually true and what has been um falsified <laughs> yes and so. you know that's one of the things that i learned when i was younger you know they call it history it's like his story it's mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. someone telling you a story so whenever you hear something it's like how accurate is it you know for reals like mm -hmm. that's someone's version of a tale so mm -hmm. um it's a lot of that. So it's super interesting. Mm -hmm. How did you like this one, Mon, compared to the first one? Like for those, you know, I don't know how people know, I would say for those of you who know, but I don't know how anyone would know this except for the book club members. So we're on Goodreads. So mm -hmm. that is the, you know, platform that we use um, to communicate, to choose our books and all that kind of stuff. And it's a five rating scale, right? It's like a stars, five stars. So I gave fourth wing five stars. I love mm -hmm. that book so much. This one I think was a little, I like, I gave it four stars, which I still think it's a, a pretty good book, but it was just, you know, like the, it's always like you know, the first movie always like kind of blows you away or the first book usually sure. blows you away. Not like Akatar though, but, um, <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that's, we'll save that for another episode. But um, yeah, how did you like this one, Mon? What did I give it? I don't even remember because I read this like so long ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I read these series like back to back because I had timed it that once I finished the first book, the second book was conveniently coming out. And then since then, even up until we did the book club for this second book, I had read so many different books. Let me I see. gave it a four. I think I gave it a four. I also gave yeah. Fourth Wing four stars. What? Yeah. Just kidding. I I gave it four stars based on I think more like Violet's character. Uh, <laughs> I mean, alert. she's like a she's a how old is she? She's like seventeen. Nineteen, I think, right? Okay. He's a teenager. Yeah. Growing on kind of adult, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but she's young and it comes through a lot. And I guess there was just like a, in the writing, in a world of 
romanticy, fantasy stuff. Mm-hmm. She seemed very uh, young, millennial slash Gen Z. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's basically the summary. Of the yeah, book. we won't give too much away. We won't give too much away of the book. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. I guess we can talk about. So you know, with this book club, we've gotten about a about a dozen of our friends and you know friends of friends and stuff like that that joined us. And um, we mm-hmm. had a, we've had two really fun parties, um, get-togethers, and you know where we talk about the books. And Mon is awesome enough to put together like a trivia and all that kind of stuff. So. <laughs> It's been super fun to do. It's kind of like the highlight. Like, I feel like sometimes, like, even if you don't really like the book or aren't really into it, it's just like, it's nice to come together and like, just hang out and chit chat. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, we kind of did the same thing that we did last time, um, since, you know, it was um, the same book in the series. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we kind of recycled like some um yes decorations. our decorations yes so we're saving money there and girl math girl math if you if you listen to our last episode yes oh, yes or if you listen to our previous previous episode i forget previous previous episode yes yeah. and yeah like anna said we did like a little trivia game uh where everyone you know like kind of linked up on their phones and like question uh i wrote in some questions i guess i had a lot of um uh, technicalities <laughs> in the answers they're very specific but, very yeah. specific yeah but it, yeah. it encouraged a lot of discussion which was great that's kind of yeah. like what that's we what want, we want. The book club. exactly yeah. yeah um and then we also had a little giveaway yes uh, i have it right here actually <laughs> you have it too i do not actually okay i, I have it so Ma- for, so for both of the book clubs mon has been um you know gracious enough to make us candles that are kind of mm-hmm. themed to what we're doing so in the second book um there's a lot of talk about ward stones which i'm not even 100 percent clear <laughs> what they are i mm-hmm. think i kind of know it's just like where it's like i don't know like wards are basically like their protection from like shields like, yeah shields pretty much but like mm-hmm. i guess they're anchored by stones mm-hmm. um so Anchored like and powered Mon, by stones mm-hmm. yes powered by stone so mon um was kind enough to make us these ward stones so can you guys see it says an oa ward stone and it's a candle it. stone so we decided or i think i not i decided but it would be cool if mon mon is you know i don't know if you're gonna say like getting into candle making or gonna oh. start <laughs> offering that as a product i'm like i don't know uh-huh. if i'm like but Spoiler. you know <laughs> Yeah, spoiler alert. That's a spoiler, but like, you know, kind of grace us with her talent um for the books that we read. So yeah, that was our Yay. party. We'll we'll be putting up like, you know, um maybe a little reel with the details and maybe a, a short little vlog um with what we did this time. So we, you know, we just wanted to thank everyone that came out, yeah. everyone that brought food and all that kind of stuff. It was of course another fun event. So yeah. Definitely. Yes. Um, we hope to, you know, continue these. So we're going to have another book to focus on mm-hmm. and hopefully have a book club after that after we finish reading it. And um, currently we're just we're we're moving on from the Empyrean series because the third book There's isn't no going to be released. Read. Uh, the third book's not <laughs> slated until uh, January, January of next mm-hmm. year. So we have to find something else to read in the meantime. Boo. And we thought we'd switch it up to yeah. a different uh, uh, category. What yeah. are we what are we looking into? All right. <laughs> so we are. I don't know why it's not the season or anything, but you know, there's a really like, you know, strong, like murdery vibe to a lot of, I don't know. I think I'm going through it. I'm going through a kind of a murdery phase at this point with a lot of true crime TV, a lot of, I've been reading a lot of books and all that kind of stuff. So when we were talking to our club, we were like, yeah, let's read like a thriller um, next. So our next book is called The Kind Worth killing or should i give a little synopsis do you want to do it no you could do it you want me to Monda. yeah sure sure go for it well i'm just reading this off of goodreads because i don't know that's what, the book what i would have done yeah that's um, what i would have done so it says a devious tale of psychological suspense involving sex deception and an accidental encounter that leads to murder 
Ooh la la. Wow, we're just thrown in that there's involving sex. <laughs> Um, I spice right away. So it's like if you liked the girl on the train, people lo- would love this book. This book. Okay. Um, so that's going to be our next book. Mm-hmm. So we'd love it if anyone else wanted to join our book club. Um, please let us know. We're not going to probably be meeting up and discussing this until um, probably the end of June at this point. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So if you're interested in joining, please hit us up. Or even if it's not for this book specifically, we'll keep on, um, having more books. And we're actually like, it's pretty much like a pattern for us at this point that it's just like, um, every other month is when we meet for the book club. Right. So yeah. Yeah. And if if you're interested, if anything, follow us on Instagram for like any updates for all mm-hmm. of our like book club stuff. Um, obviously, also to for our podcast stuff, but yes. also for our book club stuff. But yeah, also for the book club. So yeah, if you're interested, please um, send us a DM and, you know, we'd love to have you. But we do meet in person. So that's one thing. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're in Northern California, um, you know, that that would be cool. Um, I know that there's been interest Um from people like on the outside that won't be able to make it to the actual meeting. So we're kind of trying to figure that out. So we'll see. In the meantime, like after the book club, um, what's coming up in June? So we're, believe it or not, (laughs) we're actually about to hit our one year anniversary. Our pod anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. That is great. But it makes sense. Like we are about to hit like this is I think like our 25th episode, the one that we're, you know, mm-hmm. the one that we're about to post, I think, or this one might be or I don't know. Like we're right around our 25th episodes. We do it mm-hmm. every other week. There's 52 weeks in a year. There you go. I can math, math that. The yeah. So we're nothing. like, you know, we're there. So Mon, you want to tell them what we want to do for our, our one year anniversary? Yeah, so for our one year anniversary, I think it would be really fun to, or Anna and I thought it would be really fun to make it a Q and A episode. So um, we would love to hear any questions that you guys have for us, or like, oh, I don't know, any like discussion topics or whatever, uh-huh. and any of your submissions, we'd love to like bring them on to the next episode, and uh, we would try and answer them for you. <laughs> yep. Is anything off topic? <laughs> oh, you know how, like, fun. People, like, try to... oh, God, we'll be lucky if we get like three questions. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. So also in honor of our uh, first anniversary for our podcast, we're going to do like a little giveaway. Yeah. So what are we? Who what doesn't are we love a giveaway? I don't know. What are we giving away? All right, you guys. So for the first item, Mon and I are actually each going to give something into this little giveaway. But the first item is this cool OA sweatshirt. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Okay. So this is, I call this like the founder sweatshirt because there's only two. Only me and Mon have this. I actually had it made for her birthday. So we're going to be happy to, um, you know, share one of the, not one of our sweat shirts will get a new one made for you <laughs> we'll wear so, it and you know, send it to you yes so we're, wow. that's the first thing <laughs> the first item from our giveaway an oa sweatshirt and it says it actually says i'll, I'll read it up so if you see it it says oa and then it says op op ed average and then in the best way so Yay. it's pretty cute i think yeah. okay this is our little slogan that we usually say yes. at the end of every episode yep. <laughs> so yeah um i don't know if it's going to be in the same color yeah something of the similar sort of crew neck so you can also be oa in the best way with us <laughs> yes who doesn't want that yeah i want another one i know you <laughs> should order three <laughs> yes yes we'll do another one um and then in addition to the oa sweater uh we talked about how um, in my castle crafted, my small business, I am, you know, introducing candles to my line and I thought it would be so fun to have an OA candle. <laughs> <laughs> so in a little collaboration, of course, um, mm-hmm. I'm going to have a candle specially made for the OA 
podcast and it'll be super limited edition i don't know how many i'm gonna make these are like yeah just me and you me and the winner (laughs) (laughs) just super micro batch so um yeah i i don't know what scent yet i have to figure out something that would best um, represent us as a brand but um yeah you're gonna get a hand poured handmade candle and it'll be super limited (laughs) yes yes (laughs) so um in order to get these uh what should they do anna all right you guys so in order to qualify for the raffle just need you to do three simple things the first thing is ask us a question so i'll put out like one of those question thingies on instagram or you can ask us a question on the youtube comments Uh, the second thing is please subscribe to our youtube channel so that's at oa podcast and that's on youtube Mm -hmm. and the last thing is just to follow us on instagram um which i know most of you probably already do Mm -hmm. (laughs) but yeah just those three simple things and you'll be entered for this cool raffle where you'll win a founder's sweatshirt and a, oh. a very limited hand handle. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Can I enter? <laughs> Anything for these freaking handles. I'm like obsessed with mon candles. All uh, right. Um yeah, that's super exciting. I hope you yeah. guys are gonna be excited too. Um yes. For any updates regarding like the giveaway and stuff, yeah, just be sure that you're following the Instagram and we'll announce it there. Yep. By the time that you hear this episode, hear or watch this episode, um, we're actually going on <laughs> the cruise that we've been talking about for the last year. <laughs> yep. And we're finally getting on it. Hopefully. Hopefully. We get through this trip. I guess lots of content to look forward to regarding. Yeah, Um, we're going to plan to vlog a little bit, right? As much as Mm -hmm. we possibly can. So kind of like take them along with us on this little trip. Right. And while we're on that trip, um, pretty much like right after that, you're going to finally hear our story of the cruise that didn't happen. Yes. uh, Like a year ago. Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> that nightmare of a trip. That nightmare of a trip. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll and finally hear the full story. <laughs> We're going to talk about spaghetti trip. models and everything. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you, if you want to know what a spaghetti model is, listen just, to just that episode. Check out for the next episode. Yes. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> so fun stuff coming up. Yes. Um, hope you guys are excited as we are because we've been waiting for so long. <laughs> to guess to go on this trip. Mm-hmm. After that, after that episode, mm-hmm. we'll probably discuss our actual cruise that we yeah. went on. Yes. And, you know, look out for possibly a little vlog again. Because yes. this is a trip of a lifetime with our friends and um, we should definitely vlog. We're going to vlog, right? Yes, we're going <laughs> to vlog. I'll have the right <laughs> SIM card this time or whatever. <laughs> The memory card. I'm so bad. So is it a SIM card or a memory card? A memory card. The SIM okay. cards were your phone. Oh, <laughs> see, exactly. Yeah. Whatever, whatever it's fun called. Stuff, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Yes. Yes. Um. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a little bit of a shorter episode this time yes. around. Um. It doesn't seem like it with the good that we had back yes, that we made here <laughs> but since it's a short episode maybe you guys could go back and listen to an episode that you may have missed or if you're mm-hmm. a new listener catch up on some of the episodes and i think this is a good time to remind everyone so as you guys <laughs> all know we're on youtube um you know we post our all of our episodes on um you know we have a podcast so you could listen to it as well but we're also on youtube so right now we have a sad koala no, it's not sad. well okay we have a, a very small but mighty um group that watches us on youtube but we do know from the analytics that we see that only about 40 percent of our subscribers no 40 percent how do you say that view- our viewers 40 uh, percent of our viewers are subscribed to us right mm-hmm. so there's and the rest of the 60 percent of you are uh lurking or something yeah. <laughs> come on yeah. you just gotta hit the subscribe button yeah <laughs> and open an account if you don't know. <laughs> 
great. <laughs> well, you're yes, there. yes. But um, it will really help out our channel. Um, you know, give us a thumbs up, and I don't know what do they say? Ring the bell. <laughs> Ring the bell so you don't miss any of our yes, uploads, our future episodes, or whatever. So yeah. yeah, just like you know, do us that favor if you don't mind, and subscribe to our channel. It means yeah. so much to us. So it would. Um, and we think thankful for everyone who has been listening to us um even if you're not subscribed to us um i can't believe we've been doing this for almost a year so yeah. um hopefully there's bigger and better things coming our way in the yep. next year yes yes <laughs> definitely anyway uh yeah don't forget to follow rate and subscribe to our podcast uh you can follow us on instagram tiktok on threads we're on there you can chat with us ask us any questions for that q a yeah you probably should if you want to be entered in that giveaway yep till next time everybody stay away in the best way <laughs> bye, bye. bye. <laughs> team glow over here oh an outline we're writing an outline i don't care how short this episode is. i know <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs>